Hello, everyone. Welcome to episode 179 of Manage the Wild. I'm Nick Madsen. I'm not going to say I hate whitetail, but growing up when I was a kid, all the hunting shows and all the different out doors things you saw was always about whitetail and it got to the point where i just was so desperate to see anything about mule deer that i started to loathe whitetail not gonna say i hate whitetail but i really like mule deer when compared to whitetail i felt like growing up because there was so many hunting shows from back east and very little was being done on mule deer that um Mule deer were like the Chevy Chevette, just that junker little car that nobody cared about. And as I grew older and you get more of these back east hunting shows and how in Texas they're raising them and they get these massive ones and they're shooting them from tree stands. Then you come out west and it's completely different. I still feel... Uh, like mule deer don't get the respect that they do, but they're kind of like that little Chevy love that, uh, on the farm that just gets beat up and it's doing all the work, but you can do more with less. A study put out by Anna Stoudemire in February of 2022, 2022 say mule deer do more with less. What they're talking about is they found that compared to white-tailed deer, mule deer require 54% less digestible protein and 20%, 21% less digestible energy intake per day to maintain their body mass. They are the Chevy loves of deer. They do, they can do so much more. They're dealing with harsh terrain, cold temperatures, not very great vegetation, not very good moisture. Uh, levels and they're doing more energy requirements for mule deer on any given day throughout the year are as follows for a fawn or a very uh, or a juvenile they're going to need about 2868 calories per day and for uh, adults especially females that are have offspring or are pregnant, they're going to need roughly 4,780 calories per day to maintain their body mass. So depending on which study you look at, uh, mule deer need less and the percentages are a little bit different based upon what you look at. But overall, mule deer need less than blacktails as well as whitetails. Uh, in one requirement or requirement, in one research paper that I was looking at, uh, they need roughly 20% less to maintain their type of body mass, which is awesome. But it brings me up to a point when we are out and about, moving out and about, whether we're on horses, four-wheelers, hiking, just out and about in the outdoors, and we are pushing deer to different areas because we're constantly there's so many people going outdoors right now that that 4,780 calories for a pregnant doe in certain situations is very difficult to obtain one you have the constant vigilance for predators so if you have a high concentration of coyotes or mountain lions wolves bears or even cars, whatever it's going to be already. And then you add people to the mix who are out mountain biking, uh, cross-country skiing, snowmobiling, four-wheeling, camping, hike, all these different things are putting pressure on them, making it more difficult for them to uh, get enough calories. And the more calories they miss, the lower quality of fawn that they're going to have, right? And we learned that it takes a while for that fawn to regain whatever the mother lost up to two maybe three years it's always going to be lower than its counterparts so energy requirements are going to be super high for mule deer not as bad when uh, they don't need that thermal regulation when they do need that thermal regulation their requirements are even higher but they're not getting as much 
food intake. So from approximately October through March, they are bringing in 20 to 30% less calories per day than they were through that April to September period of time. And so the, the time when they need the most amount of calories is the time when they're getting the least amount of calories. And again, we're putting pressure on them, going out and about hunting, putting pressure on them, we're moving them constantly out in the field, snowmobiling, all these different requirements. So when you're out and about and you're watching mule deer feed, try not to put a lot of pressure on them. Sit and watch. Think about the amount of calories that they need per day and what they're pulling in and how long it takes these ungulates to process food and how much food they actually need to bring in. And it just puts a different perspective on how much they actually have to consume to make sure they get enough feed for the day for their body if they're pregnant for the offspring's body and then what that does for later generations. All right, you guys, have a great day. Stay wild.